Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a moving vlog, moving to uni. So this vlog is going to be in two parts. So today is Saturday, the 8th of September. So I'm going to be vlogging today and then next weekend, the following weekend on Sunday the 16th, I'm going to be moving the rest of my stuff in. Today I am going by train by myself. I'm going to be taking a medium sized suitcase with me and it's got all my bedding and towels in. I thought I may as well just take some stuff with me and I'm also going to pick up the keys. Okay guys, so I am in Exeter. It feels so surreal to be like back at this train station. But the first thing I have to do is pick up my keys and I contacted my landlord and they said since it's outside business hours because it's on the weekend that I have to go to their house and my keys will be under their doormat. So it's only like a 10 minute walk from here. So I'm gonna try and find their house. And then I think I'll walk back down to the train station and then get a taxi to our house so that is the plan i'm here oh my gosh oh my god okay so let me just start off by giving you guys a house tour that's the first thing i would do so obviously this is the hallway this is one bedroom but i think they all should be locked yeah then down here is the kitchen so as you can see this is a six bedroom house and I think the biggest con is how small the kitchen is. Um, but we have a fridge and freezer. It's been defrosted. Another fridge, mini one, I think. Microwave, kettle and a toaster. So don't have to bring that stuff. Okay. So they've already provided us with a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if I'll actually have to bring any kitchenware, which is good. Got a dishwasher as well come in handy the bin this is a little folder they've left for us of information here is the downstairs toilet and it was so grim i mean it still is a bit grim i mean i don't know what this discoloration is on the floor i think it might be mold ew it's a mirror here just a sink and a toilet kind of scared to look in there um and then here, we've got a washing machine. We've got a little outside patio area. And then the really cool thing about this house is the living room. So it's actually like in the basement. So you go down these stairs. Also, if you're like six foot tall, you wouldn't be able to stand up in here. So this is like the living area. We've got two sofas. The only thing is it's quite dim. So got a little rug there. Um, we've got a little TV stand. It doesn't come with a TV. Another mirror. This is a dining area. And then I have no idea what's in there. Let's have a look. Oh, that is creepy. Ew. I really don't like that. <laughs> Let's close that. This is really random, but at the top of the first flight of stairs, there's like this door that's locked. It goes out onto the roof. How strange. Through here, we've got another mirror, but it looks like warped. What the hell? Got an ironing board. Oh, there's the Hoover. Oh my God, we got clothing racks. Okay, I won't waste space and bring that with me then. Iron. Ew, what was that? I have some spare hangers. Okay. Um, this is the main bathroom. Bath and shower. And then the sink the toilet this is empty okay we've got one bedroom here so two bedrooms on each floor this is just a shower room so okay and we've got the second bedroom of this floor here another mirror we've got some coat hangers there and then there is one more floor which is where me and lydia will be it's quite a lot smaller than my previous room you guys would have seen my room if you watched my vlogs and i also did a room tour but this is my bedroom um i did get the biggest room last year so um when me and lydia were deciding which one of us should get the bigger room i said obviously she could because i had the bigger room in second year this is the wardrobe that really scares me because this is the tiniest wardrobe I've ever seen. 
Okay. Interesting. This is a little bedside table. Lovely. This is my mattress or my bed. Oh, it actually feels quite comfy. Okay, it's a slightly smaller. Isn't this slightly smaller than a double bed? It'll be okay. Um, I get a full length mirror. Oh my God, that means I don't have to bring my mirror. Wow, okay. See, it's a good thing that I came early because now I don't have to bring pretty much any of my kitchenware, my mirror, my drying rack, and all of those take up a lot of space. So I've saved myself that. Got the radiator. We've got another board thing here. They've given us a little rack here. The desk, the desk is really nice and big. So I'm very happy about that. We viewed a lot of houses and the desks were literally like half this size. Um, they've given us a bin given me this cute shelf here and then a chest of drawers which will come in handy i also like how bright this room is quite happy with the house um as i said the kitchen is a little small but i think our living area is really cool our dining room i'm really happy with how much stuff they've actually provided for us that's so good of them let's take this off um So this is for my bedding and towels. So um okay, I'm gonna go and do another house tour for my housemates, and then I'll come back upstairs to unpack that, and then I guess I might order some food and then make my way back home. Like literally, this is the weirdest day trip ever, but okay. Um, where should I put it? I might just put it in the chest of drawers for now. I didn't even need to bring this foot towel then. Oh, well, it can't hurt to have a spare one. It's the bedding. Okay, that fits fine. Wow, I literally came all the way here just to put that in my wardrobe and it took five minutes. Oh my god. <sighs> that Deliveroo took an hour to get here and it promised me 20 to 30 minutes. It's a vegan burger with like vegan cheese. Sounded really good but it's kind of cold so... I don't know why this has turned into a mukbang but... I guess I'll just eat and talk to you guys about how I actually feel about going into third year. Okay, it's actually really good. Still mad that I waited an hour though. So last year, in my first year uni experience video, I said I was like super nervous to go back into second year because I just did not want my experience to be the same in second year. So I was so nervous and like the few weeks running up to uni, like I literally had so much anxiety. I felt nauseous every day about it. Um, and then in my second year uni experience video, which I put out recently, I didn't actually say how I felt about going into third year. I'm so excited for my living situation. Like that is what I'm looking forward to the most because... This isn't like tea or drama or anything, this is just facts, but um, the past, like most of first and second year, the girls I lived with, we weren't a completely harmonious house, like we didn't do a lot of house stuff. We barely did any house stuff together, like last year in particular, um, just because there were a couple of people who didn't get on, so we never did stuff as a house. And my boyfriend, Ethan, has been living with his housemates since first year and they're just such a tight-knit group and they do stuff together all the time and I just think that's so nice and I haven't had that for two years. So 
I'm really excited for this year for that reason, but then also it kind of makes me sad because I feel like it's gonna go so quickly. And I wish all three of my years at uni would have been like that, like living in a harmonious house where like everyone got on. So that's what I'm really excited for. It's just like living with people where pretty much, you know, everyone will get along. Like there's no beef between anyone. I'm also really excited for freshers. Again, it's partly because I know we can like all pre-drink as a house and go out as a house, like it ties into that stuff, but I'm just so excited for freshers and just to let loose before third year officially starts. And that's what I'm scared of. I'm not looking forward to my actual degree, like third year, my actual third year course I'm not looking forward to it in any way, shape or form. I'm dreading it. It was a blessing in second year because in my course we do the dissertation topics and the planning all very late. They literally said to us, you don't have to think about it over the summer. You don't have to think about what you wanna do until you come back. Like they were like, it isn't even necessary for you to have an idea. So I have no idea what I'm doing my dissertation on, which was lovely for me at the end of second year because there were other people who had to go to dissertation meetings and start working on it. And I was like, oh, well, I don't have to do any of that. But like, I'm literally about to start third year and like start working on it. And it stresses me out a bit how I still don't know what I'm doing it on. Oh, so I'm just not looking forward to it, guys. So I'm really scared for like the course and the academic stuff. It's just a lot of pressure now that it's worth twice as much. So that's the main thing I'm dreading. The other thing I'm like really sad about it's just that this is my final year. I feel like it's flown by so quickly and I know everyone will say that, but life in general just goes by so quickly. It's so depressing. And it's just like my third year is gonna just go like that. And I don't like that. I feel like then I'm going into the adult world. And what further stresses me out is I still don't know what I wanna do as a career. So it's just a stressful time in that sense. This is really good. This could be one of the best vegan burgers I've ever had. Okay guys, I am leaving now. So I was literally here for like an hour or something. And I'm going back home. I'm getting the train home. And then I shall see you guys next weekend. But in reality, it will be the next clip after this. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the first half of this moving vlog. Okay guys, so here is all my stuff my car is full literally forgotten to vlog because i've been so overwhelmed and i think i was right that i'm gonna cry at some point today because this is the state of my room like i told you guys i have so much stuff and just nowhere to put any of this so i'm stressed Okay, so I've gotten into something more comfy because this packing is unpacking even is taking so much longer than I thought. It is half past six and I've been unpacking for hours and hours and I just feel like no progress is being made. And also I've only eaten two slices of toast today. So what am I doing? I need to go and have dinner. I set up like this little desk area. I still need to put like this shit somewhere. I've done my makeup, but it's like I have no more room. I haven't done any of my skincare stuff. I've got skin and body stuff here, here, bathroom stuff, hair stuff. Like there is nowhere else to put these. I've used all these drawers. I've used this. I mean, I want my desk to do work on. <laughs> There's this little empty space here where I've put my folders. finished it is I think 10 to 9 and I got here around 
three. I don't want to show you guys too much of my room like in detail because I am planning on doing a uni room tour like I did last year but I'll give you guys a quick overview. Actually I can show you guys like storage inside my wardrobe. Up here I have like comfy kind of like lounging around clothes. I've got just like leggings and trackies like tracky material shorts then I've got like going out skirts and then at the back is just pajamas and then here I have all my jeans and trousers hung up with some cardigans around them my shirts these are all my thin knit jumpers these are all my sweatshirts and hoodies these are some skirts like day skirts not clubbing all my dresses and then I've hung up like these are actually really handy if you get them from, I think, Ikea. You can hang up all like your vest tops and stuff on this without folding it or anything. And then down here I've got my winter boots. And then I've used the bedside table drawers for my underwear. And then the rest of my clothes are in this chest of drawers. So, oh actually that one's makeup palettes. These are all my t-shirts. I did them like um, black, white and grey um pinks and oranges and then blue and green and then at the very bottom we have workout clothes also you guys might have seen in the actual house tour that um outside mine and lydia's room is this little cupboard with a rail in there so all of my jackets and coats are there which is good because they would have taken up so much room in that tiny wardrobe but yeah i'll just give you guys an overview my wardrobe bedside table i've just done my bed which took ages i'm thinking i might get some fairy lights to wrap around my bed frame it would look really cute um and then yeah this is my room this is what i've done with it so yeah that's everything so that is everything for this moving vlog guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to smash a thumbs up down below subscribe if you haven't already you guys know the drill um i'm literally so tired i just want to take off my makeup and collapse onto this bed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye